I'm back. You didn't know I was gone until it got weird, um, but I ran out of space again. <laughs> so it's becoming a big problem and probably wouldn't have this problem if I used my phone and that new setup that I bought, but I really like doing it on the surface because it's a bigger screen and I can see better. So my apologies. So anyway, I was talking about this and this set of four cups is $1.42 and I got two of them. Then I got each of them two of these, um, mostly to put leftovers in. Um, sometimes they fight over leftovers or somebody, sorry, or somebody eats the other person's leftovers and that's never a good thing. Um, so I got these again in the wheat straw with a plastic lid. Um, these were $3.24 and I got each kid two in their color. And I think I've only got two more things in this whole wheat straw idea. Um, silverware. And you may be thinking, that's dumb. They should just use the silverware you've already got. But I have several sets of silverware and we never seem to have any forks. So then we get into the backup silverware. So this is just, uh, we're just going to try it. Who knows? So it comes in this nice little case. It snaps open and it comes all the way off. And they get a spoon and a fork and a knife. And we'll still have steak knives, but this probably cuts pretty well. And chopsticks. They're all really into chopsticks. And I, in a previous haul, I got one of those, those plastic things that help you use chopsticks. And then this container. So they'll, they each got two of these. And so they will not be using my regular silverware anymore. And all of the extras, I'll only keep out two for to each for my husband and I, and the rest of it's gonna go into storage. And then the last thing in the wheat straw are ramen spoons. They all like to eat ramen. And I've got ramen bowls coming in a different order, but so they'll each have two of these. So they'll have plenty of silverware. And again, if they get to dinner time and they don't have anything clean, it's on them and they will have to clean something. All right, so next, the travel stuff. Oh, and I'm super excited because I have a beauty care set in here too. All right, so with the travel stuff, for the most part, um, I got all the girls pink and the boys blue, and several of the girls wish that they got blue, but I have to keep my mind segregated, and so it's blue and pink. So I got each of them one of these, and you take this lid off and it's got four bottles they had a version that was just three but this one was a little bit bigger do these things come out they probably do but i don't want to um so they've got shampoo and skin cream which i'm my kids don't really use skin cream so this one's probably going to be for suntan lotion and any bottle Hmm. So that'll probably be conditioner and then bath cream will probably be body soap. And I may stick new labels on these with my label maker. But yeah, so they each got one of these. Oh, and I should have brought, I meant to bring down their toothbrush, um, toothpaste holders that I got on a different haul um, because I got bags that I was going to try to see if all this stuff would fit in. I'm not sure. I got a couple different kinds because I wasn't really sure 
what I would need. So this is um, a pill container, which my kids will probably use for candy <laughs> until they're old enough to, I mean, if, I've got two kids that are old enough to manage Advil and Tylenol and stuff, but um, they could put Pepto tabs in these, um, but they may use it for candy or even hair ties for the girls bobby pins that kind of stuff so i got them each one of these oh and i haven't been telling you prices so oh maybe i did this was 324 the silverware this was 255 the ramen spoons were a dollar 67 and then this in the other order maybe yeah it must be okay well I came on this first this was a dollar 69 but the pink ones were 229 I never understand I guess if it's more popular they'll charge more but this a dollar 34 for the blue and the pink And then here's the pink one. Then I got some combs or brushes, I should say. Now they may never use these, but they have a nice little mirror. And then you just pop this out. And so it was dark blue for the blue on this and pink. And then these wrong mouse a dollar 97 for both colors and then this one I didn't look around enough because I ended up getting pink and green um, but they do have they do have blue ones of these but these are um, laundry bags So they can bring these to put their dirty clothes in. That way their dirty clothes are their own. And when we get home, they can wash them and they're not all intermingled with each other's because at home they each have their own basket. But this was huge. Wash me. So nice, I mean, really a good size bag. That should be plenty for a week's vacation. Might even be too big for a week. But these were $3.98. And again, this is like a teal color, so the boys are getting this. But they do they did have it in blue. I just didn't look around enough. And a lot of times when they go to wash their laundry, they can just stick this in the wash with it. But again, I got it in pink for the girls. Then I also got a set of these eyeglass um, cleaners. Not all of us wear, the youngest two don't wear glasses, but there's five in here. So the four of us that do will get one of these and I'll get the extra and it'll go in my purse. But you just, um, these have been around for a long time, but if you haven't seen them before, You take it and you put your glasses in between here and you wipe and then they are super clear after that. This set of five was 208. And then I got each of them. I know I showed in a previous haul that I got a travel electronic travel container to put everybody's cords in but I forgot that I had also bought everybody their own personal one um so I got blue and pink and the zippers on these are kind of weird you have to like fold them back over but anyway 
It's big enough. It's got a little pouch here. It's big enough for a USB cord and a plug. And if they have earbuds, it would, unless it's like, they don't have Apple earbuds, but some of them do have earbuds that come in a case. Um, that might be a struggle to fit in here. But yeah, so they'll each get one of these. And these... $0.78 cents for both colors. And then... Okay, so this, and then this was the pink case for the medicine. All right, so I think all the bags that I bought to hold all this stuff, I think I struck out on all of them because there's no way all of these things are going to fit in something that's in this. So let's just see. And again, this is where looking at dimensions would help, but that doesn't really help me much. So yeah, so this, this is not enough to fit all there. I mean, it barely holds that. So I'll use this for something else. And this does come in multiple sizes, but I'm also trying to be cost effective. And this was $1.47, so I was being hopeful. So that didn't work. And then the next, this one was, I think, just about the same size, but it comes in pink and blue. And so I was trying to see if I liked this better. But again, this is way too small. It does expand, but not very much. So, oh, and that smells horrible. Mm. So, so this one was 208. Not, there's other things. I, I mean, I can put makeup and stuff in there or the girls can put makeup in there. Now this one might be big enough. Hey everybody channel her channel she gets these all the time and this and actually I did order um, a set of these and they come in five different colors I think so I ordered a I ordered four with the hopes that maybe this would be big enough to fit everything but let's see and keep in mind I still have the um, toothpaste thing upstairs but if I put that in there with this and this, although you probably wouldn't put this in with wet stuff, would you? Well, we'll see. And then where did the brush and then the brush. So it might all fit in this if I took this out and put the toothpaste thing in. And maybe if I stood, I don't know, I think the toothpaste one is probably the full length of this. So I don't think I'll be able to stand this up. So yeah, so this might work. Um, it's definitely a lot better than the other two. Um, and it's waterproof, which is really all I'm looking for. But this bag was $1.22. So I think this will be pretty close. And it's it's about the kind of price I'm trying to do. Oh, all right. So now the rest of the stuff is kind of a hodgepodge. Well, until I get to the beauty stuff. So I got another one of these as a free gift with purchase. This is a jewelry travel bag. And this is the same color I got before. So I would have been smart to get a different color because they do come in different colors. And then perhaps I could have given one of these to one of my daughters. But it's just, you know, when you're traveling, you're not taking all your jewelry, but it's got a nice amount of space for jewelry. And speaking of jewelry, I finally got a mirror. So I've started to build my jewelry wall. I got my um, lights hung that would normally go around a bathroom mirror, but there were, it was so much bigger than my bathroom mirror that I put them on my wall 
And then I hung up the um, plastic hanger set that I got, which had things for um, necklaces, earrings, and rings. But I'm using the ring one because you could only put like six rings on it, which is dumb because I've got like 5,000 rings. And so um, I'm using that one for more bulky necklaces that take up more space. And what I discovered is I have room for lots more jewelry. <laughs> so I can add, keep adding to my shopping list because I also have another set of these plastic um, hangers coming in a, another haul. So the only thing that I don't have any more space for is rings. So I either need to get another, um, some more ring dividers, which really just look like they're big trays that look like this. Um, and I don't have a good place to put my stud earrings. The earring thing that came with that set was more for dangly earrings. So I need to, I know they've got things on Timu that you can put your stud earrings in. So I need to look for that. The other option is I could stick them into the glasses holder because it's kind of like felt. So that might be an option. So I was excited to get that started, but I haven't hung the mirror yet. So it's not fully done. But when it is, I'm hoping to take a picture to post to the community page to show you guys. All right, so next is a set of microfiber dishcloths. And my kids asked me why on earth I would buy these when I have a bunch of Norwex. And the, the, the dealio is that these were cheap. Um, and I, for some reason, like microfiber cloths. I don't feel like you can, especially with kids, you can never have too many because um, there's spills and stuff all the time. Um, where, oh, where are, oh, these were from a totally different order. I So I apologize. I don't know how much these cost, but um, they're this size, which is kind of like if you get those paper towels that are divided, it's kind of that size and it's two different colors. Um, but microfiber is really absorbent. And like I said earlier, you got to wash this stuff by itself. Don't wash it with regular towels because all the lint will get on this and then they won't work very well. But you get a set of six. And somewhere, I'm pretty sure, but I don't see it in the box. So I'm going to have to figure out where it is. My really wild purse that I got came but it's not in the box so maybe i'll just show it on my next haul since i'm not sure where it is but this was the other free gift that i got for completing farmland and it is a purple tool set hopefully it won't just go flying around but it's got pieces up here it's got all the different screwdriver bits um it's also got, I don't know what this stuff is, okay? My dad would be embarrassed, but I don't know what all these things are. But it's nice because it tells you, oh, I don't want these to fall out. It tells you the sizes of each one. Um, and we're trying to get all of our tools organized because they're kind of all over the place and we're gonna put them in our front closet along with our vacuum cleaner and stuff. So. I wanted to get something like this so I can just donate all the rest of them and not have to worry about having screwdrivers here and there. But um, it's got these, which I don't know, is this to be used like a screwdriver? There's a bunch of these in here. So I'm not really sure what that's for. And then it's also got this, which maybe the rest of the set will help explain. Oh, it does have a it's 115 tools, so it does have a list. And then on this side, you've got all the all the handles or whatever to go with the other side. And it's got this, which hopefully they don't think this can hang this. So I'm not sure what they would want you to use this for or even what this is. Some of you probably know what that is, but I don't. And I'm not going to sit here and read the... Well, maybe it doesn't... 
Well, yeah, I guess it does say what all's in here. But anyway, this was something I had been wanting, but I didn't really want to pay for it. I want to say it's around $15, and so I just made this one of my free gifts on farmland. So yeah, so, and it's purple, which my husband really likes. So yeah, so I'm, a lot of these things, you may be thinking, why is she spending all of her money? Well, I'm trying to get organized, and I know it's like a misnomer to spend money to get organized, but sometimes you just do. Um, okay, so the last thing before I get to the skincare is another set of stickers. And this is for one of my daughters, and these were supposed to be like anime. I can't remember the name of the Titans, something Titans. But um, I don't think they're all from that show, but there's they're from a lot of different anime, and and I believe these are all pictures. Not really any sayings. Well, I guess that's got a saying. So yeah, so those are cute. And then let's see how much this set was. There were 50 and it was $1.89. All right, now the part that I've been waiting for because I'm super excited to try these things, but I haven't tried it yet because um, I, I I don't typically try things before I do the haul video, but I put these all together in a bag. They don't all come together, but I put together a skincare set from Timu. I did a search on hyaluronic acid because I really like how that feels on my face and I have lots of skin issues, which is very apparent when you're watching my videos and you see all the spots. Um, and so when I was looking up that this um, Japanese Sakura, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, um, all these products came up and basically it's um, Japanese cherry blossom. Okay, so I put the, I mean, there is a set here that came by itself but otherwise I just added on all the other products that I could find. So first is the skincare set and they had multiple different sets. So some of them just had three items. This was the biggest one with six, but it's got the cleanser, the toner, the serum, then it's got an eye cream, a lotion, and then an essence cream. And I was watching some TikTok videos that were explaining what order to use these in, etc. Um, the other thing that I thought was interesting is all of these products, and maybe this is a Japanese regulation or something, but they all have um, these Q codes, QR codes on here so that you can validate that what you purchased was an authentic, um, was authentic to that company. So I thought that was interesting. I mean, seems like you could fake that but but whatever so so here's the set with all those components that I mentioned and the essence cream I'll point this one out specifically because you can a lot of these well, maybe not all of them, but the essence cream is one that you can buy on its own. And I think when you buy it on its own, it comes in a tube instead of a pot. Um, but you may also be able to buy it. I don't know why, you, I don't know that you care, <laughs> but just telling you that. Um, and I wanna say the eye cream, you may also be able to find in a pot instead of this. Um, but it's a nice size set to just give it a try. Um, let's see what this cost. So this was $12.59. I'm typically a Walgreens, Walmart kind of beauty spender. So I'm, you can guess that means I'm not spending very much. Although I do have some, like I like IT cosmetics and, um, I like, um, Dr. Jart. 
I think it is, because that has some stuff that helps with redness. But overall, I don't spend the kind of time on my skin like I should. So I was thinking about, you know, now that I have this set, taking like a before picture and then taking a picture like each day just to see if it helps anything. Um, but yeah, so that's the first piece. Oh, I should say the benefits of this cherry blossom. It's hydrating, it smooths fine lines, it evens skin tone, and it heals dry skin. So I obviously have skin tone issues and I have um, dry skin in some parts, but yet I still get zits, so I have oily skin in some parts. Please tell me that gets better once you get older. I don't want to be an 82-year-old lady that's still getting zits. I digress. Okay, this is an exfoliating scrub. Again, the boxes always come kind of mangled. But this comes in a nice pot. And I went on TikTok to see if I could figure out how to incorporate all these other things. Like, I don't think they tell you. It's got the ingredients and this helps reduce dullness. It's good for brightening and deep cleansing but it doesn't tell you like how often, oh wait, usage. Apply proper amount of the scrub on the wet skin and gently massage your skin in circular motions. Then rinse with water. For rough and dull skin, you can increase the massage time. But like it doesn't tell you where to put that into the whole routine. And maybe I should be smart enough to figure that out or to know that, but I'm not. And maybe sometimes you use this instead of the cleanser. Um, and maybe if I scanned this to see that it was valid, maybe that would also give me some additional information. So I'll have to try that. But that's a pretty big pot. And that was um, $4.04. Then I got a mud mask. And you can also get this in packets, like individual, um, like one for each time you use it kind of thing. But I just went ahead and got the pot. And it's interesting, some of the sellers covered that up, but it's under, the actual code is under the plastic and this is on top, so you'd still be able to scan it. Um, and all these things have expiration dates on them. It's like this expires in 2027. But anyway, this is a mud mask. So I'll probably put this in my little fridge in the bathroom. And then, oh, we have a solid mask stick. So any of, any of you that have seen the green tea mask sticks, which I have, of course, when you see them on like Facebook, it shows all this stuff coming out of your skin because whoever's filming it or photographing it has put chia seeds all over their face. But nonetheless, I still do like the mask. Um, so this one is of that same kind of idea. And so, um, and some of these, I think they're all from the same brand. Maybe that's not true. This one doesn't have a a barcode or a QR code. So this one may not be. Oh, but this one's good till 2028. Um, so yeah, so I got that and that was 348. So if any of you tried this stuff, I mean, when I went searching, this was like the majority of what came up and when I was trying to Google it, it seemed like Timu was really the only place you could buy this. And I don't know if that's just because it's just not available to Americans otherwise, but, um, this is a lip mask that's wrapped in plastic. So let me see. I don't know what happened to my handy dandy paper cutter box cutter. So let's see if I can get that open with my scissors. And typical, like a typical lip mask, it's going to be in a smaller pot. You don't need as much for your lips. But most of these seem to be from the same Laiku brand. I don't know that I'm spelling that or pronouncing that right, but 
but here's the little pot for the lip mask. And I think most of these, oh, well, this, well, maybe it does and it's stuck in the cap. I was going to say most of these have a, I think have a inside cap too. And the lip mask was $269. Interesting, this one came in bubble wrap. This one is a sleeping face mask. So I really like sleeping masks. I've got um, a watermelon one that I really like, and I can't remember the name of the brand, but I'm hoping this one will be similar. Um, and this was $3.79, and it's a pretty good size. But typically you put these on right before you go to bed and just leave it on all night. And it's not like a mask, like a mud mask. I mean, it it soaks into the skin and stuff. Um, and then this might be the last item as part of this set. So this is tone up cream. Um, so I think it's supposed to, well, help tone obviously. Oh, but this is, that's interesting. Oh no, I was thinking it said lip cream, but it says up tone up cream. So yeah, so this goes somewhere in the rotation too. And then <laughs> here's the na the nose brush, not that huge thing that I made a fool of myself with, you know, with the telescoping back scratcher. <laughs> That's much more reasonable. It's got two different sides. Much better. Um, I've got some of those pads that have this kind of like they're they're like maybe this big, and you you like put your finger and then you use that to rub it, and those kind of hurt my skin. I don't. I've got sensitive skin, so I'm hoping that this one is a little a little bit less um, annoying. But um, this is was forty nine cents, and I did find when I was looking the other day and I apologize my phone's ringing but um, I did find when I was looking yesterday a few other items for this line that I hadn't gotten before so I am going to be getting those today probably but one of them is a peeling gel that you kind of rub on and it's like an exfoliator but you rub on and it pulls all the dead skin off and the other one was what was it Oh, shoot. Oh, it was a peel off mask. So not the, not the gel that you rub around and not a mud mask, but it's a mask you put on and then you can peel it all off. So it'd be interesting to try those. So I don't know if, I mean, these smell nice. I did smell the lotion on one of these and it smells nice. Um, and hopefully, I mean, I don't know, altogether I spent probably less than $30 to get this whole set. So that's not bad, right? So hopefully it'll, I'll, I'll like it, hopefully. Um, but that's all I've got for you today. No, I lied. Hold on. Let me pause because I need to see if this phone call is important. And then um, I'll come right back to finish it. So hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't recognize the number. And the voicemail that they left was just a beep. So... I, I don't know. I don't ever answer the phone if I don't know who it is. I wait and let them leave a voicemail and then I'll add them to my contact list if I need to. Um, okay, so two more things and then we're done. So this was another free with purchase, just a another USB charger. These will be these are good for travel. Um, and then I don't know what this is. So let me open this real quick because this just came today and I was not expecting anything today except for the dishes. So All right, I think that's empty. So, oh more hooks 
I tried using one of these hooks yesterday with my jewelry stuff to hang up the eyeglasses thing and it fell down pretty quickly. So not impressed yet, but these are a little bit different, I think, than other ones I've ordered. Oh, you see, that's like super bent. Not going to want to use that. They're not all bent. And then this kind. Oh, so this one, I got these because they showed them either like this or hanging from the top of a cabinet to, in a kitchen to hold stuff um, like that. So maybe if I'm putting it in the on the underside of a cabinet, then it wouldn't matter that this is bent. I have no idea what order this is from. Maybe it would be easier to find it on my phone than searching. So let me see if I can do it quickly. Otherwise, I won't keep you. Um, while I'm trying to find that, this is a purple bag, like the pink bag that I was showing you earlier for travel. I don't think I realized I bought this because I just bought another one of purple and I didn't need two. But... Hey, everybody says these are one of her favorite bags, so I'm sure I'll find some use for it. And it's pretty purple, or I'll give it to my husband since he likes purple. All right, um, and I told you the price of the other one, so I don't think we care about the price of that one. But I'm just trying to see if I can, if this was, my guess is that this was a free with purchase um, set. Yes. Okay. So, oh no. Okay. This was a buy three things and we'll give you five, $10 off $100 coupons. So I always buy the cheapest things I can for that. And so this bag was $1.29. These hooks, there were five of them for $1.69. And then this is a telescoping rod to put under my sink to hang um, spray bottles from, and this was $1.99. So anytime you get one of those text messages that are like, buy three and get 50, I always go for the super cheapest things I can find because I want to get as much value out of that $10 coupon as I can. And $10 off of 100 is pretty good. So, um, so yeah, so that's what those three things were. Now I have a big mess I need to clean up and I need to go try my face stuff. I need to go wash my face and whatnot, but it's been fun. Um, this was a super big one and I'm, if, if this ends up being too long for you, I apologize. Um, but if you stuck it out to the end, thank you so much. And even if you didn't, thank you, but you won't know that I'm saying thank you because you didn't stay. Um, <laughs> but I know there are so many other haulers out there that are way more professional, way more polished, way more funny, um, real, all that stuff. But I appreciate that you've stopped and taken time to watch mine. Um, I'm up to 82 subscribers. I'm still trying to get um, Timu to notice me because I would really like to do a $40 sponsored haul. I think that's the smallest they do. It's not like they're going to want me to do some huge one. Um, but don't forget the to look in the description, the link to the app is there. My promo code is there. And if I get the instructions from that special person that um, said they would share them and teach me how to do it, I will have the link to the orders down there too. But I don't know how to do that at the time of this recording. So we'll just have to see. But otherwise, thank you. Have a great day. And um, until next time, see you later. Bye.